Okay, so now that we have talked about some of the basic data types that get us, you know, on par with fundamental stuff that we know in JavaScript, primitive data types, arrays, tuples. Uh, the next bit of thing is about, you know, uh, some of the, uh, some special data types that exist in TypeScript, which uh, kind of deals with the concept of uh, the, uh, the optional data types and the absence of data and, uh, you know, the whole uh, the whole concept of undefined and null and all of that that exists inside JavaScript. So how does TypeScript deal with uh, those kind of stuff? The first thing is like for example, if you uh, write console dot log, uh, you know, uh, type of uh, num here. And the first thing is that you know if I just open the you know uh, console here, and uh, you know if I run this code the type of would print undefined of course there's already an error here the error is that variable num is used before being uh, assigned so if you if you define something like this if you write that let num is of data type number uh, you can't actually use that variable until you have um, you know uh, assigned some value to it so uh, you can do it in the same uh, you know line uh, and if you do it in the same line then you know never in your code can console.log type of num actually show anything other than number because you've set it to a number and now you can't set anything other than number to it you can't set num equal to you know uh, uh, say a string or something that we already know uh, because that will give us this error that you know this is not assignable to type number but the bigger thing is that we can't actually set it to uh, actually undefined as well right now so if i try to set it to undefined which would you know give me type of num as undefined again uh, so that uh, actually starts giving us an error that a type undefined is not assignable to type uh, number um, why is that that's because uh, when you say that uh, a variable is of type number what you mean is that it uh, can only have a value of data type number uh, the absence of any value like num being undefined or num being null is also not allowed okay so this is a very important part of understanding how TypeScript works with uh, the concept of nullability so uh, when you say the data type is number and you don't specify anything else uh, that means that it is not nullable it has to have a number now that's what I think uh, a lot of modern languages are trying to grapple with the concept of null and uh, you know I think uh, there is this article somewhere uh, null uh, billion dollar mistake or something I, I read about this article uh, I don't know if the search works so uh, yeah uh, I, I see so there's this guy uh, Tony uh, Huar so Tony Hoare, he is the person who actually uh, designed the concept of uh, the null uh, pointer in uh, programming languages. And he calls it to be the billion dollar mistake uh, that he has made. And uh, like companies across the world who are working on software development, uh, they, uh, they, 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 they face the problem of null pointer errors. And especially like if you have dealt with, you know, uh, languages like uh, Java and C++, you know, like, you know, when you encounter a variable and you think that it has some data, but it actually has null, and then you try to access something with dot something inside it, and you and you get a seg fault on uh, C++, or you get a, you know, a null pointer error on Java, you know, you know what the problem is. Now, with data types like uh, that, that exist in modern languages like Dart or uh, Kotlin or Swift uh, and TypeScript is that, when we say number, it means it has to be a number. It cannot even be null, okay? Uh, but what happens is in real life, we have a lot of variables which, uh, which are in this state with that they can either contain a number or they can contain nothing, okay? So that means that uh, this num variable can be of data type number or undefined, okay? So if we really want to say that, right? Uh, in that case, like if you if you want to be able to do this, okay, uh, sorry, um, if you if you want to be able to write line number three, then you need to set the data type like this, okay. So it tells us that you know uh, the the data type of num is number or undefined. So the you know I can set num equal to undefined or I can set num equal to uh, a string, 
uh, sorry, I can't set num equal to string. I can set num equal to some numbers. Okay, so it's valid for me to set a number to num. It, it is valid for me to set undefined to num, but it's not valid for me to still set any other data type uh, to num. Okay, so if you want to allow your uh, variable to be undefined then you have to specify it like this you have to you know go out of your way and tell typescript that hey okay this variable can also be undefined undefined has its own data type okay uh, and uh, you need to tell uh, typescript because otherwise typescript will only allow you to write code in such a manner that num is never null or it's never undefined okay so that's a very important part about nullability like you can force variables to be not null as well in your code okay so even if you define a variable like this typescript will force you to uh, you know allocate a number to it before you can start using this variable okay uh, you can't do stuff like you know let x equal to one plus num uh, these kind of things it will not be allowed as we have seen okay so that's a pretty interesting thing right 